Hi everyone, so for this video I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Kahoot quiz. The first thing you need to do is go on to getkahoot.com and sign up for a free account. Once you have your free account, you're going to sign in. Once you sign in, you've got a few different options. You can either create a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. Once you click on quiz, we're going to give our quiz our, a name. I'm going to give it a fun name like super awesome cats then we're gonna go ahead and come up with our first question this value here is how many characters your question can have so who is this furry feline and then you've got a couple of options you can either insert an image or insert a video you can also make that question worth points or worth no points, and you can include a time limit for the question. I'm going to insert an image. Let's put this frisky kitty. And we're gonna write down our options. You can either have one, two, three, or four options. If you don't want to have like four answers, then you'd only fill in three boxes. Grumpy Cat, Yun Cat, and maybe Garfield, and Little Bub. Then we're going to add our next question. Oops, see, this would be a common thing. Uh, you need to choose a correct answer. So here we've got Grumpy Cat. Then number beside that correct symbol is how many more characters you can have in your answer. Grumpy cat is the best kitty cat, and you'll notice it. The number there decreases. So I'm gonna leave it at Grumpy cat. Once I've got that chosen as a correct answer, I can either add a brand new question or duplicate this question. So in this case here, I'll just duplicate it, so you'll see what it looks like. Also, ask the same question: Who is this furry feline? So instead of Grumpy cat pick little bub and then we will choose the correct option and now let's add our last question so who is this fantastic creature and instead of an image I'm going to insert a YouTube video and I'm going to have it start at four seconds to include my options. Garfield, Grumpy Cat, Big Cat, and Little Bub. The correct answer would be Nyan Cat. I'm going to save and continue. Once we have all of our questions in, you can rearrange the order. So if you wanted the video first, you could put that. So now before you finish, there's a little bit more you need to fill out. You choose the language that your quiz is in, your privacy settings. So is it private as in you're the only one who can access that Kahoot? Is it public so anyone can search for it? You choose your audience. Uh, you can pick the difficulty level and then you can add a description and call it an introductory cat Kahoot. And then tags. Once I've got that, we can give our quiz a cover image. Another thing you could do is you could actually add a YouTube video to be played in the background of your screen as your students or as your audience is trying to log in to join your game. Now what's really cool is you can preview your Kahoot. On the left here is what you would see on your desktop screen and on the right here is what your audience would be working with. Here you've got some options that you can choose. So we're gonna launch the game. And now you'll hear the awesome Kahoot music. So the game pin is 293874. So on the devices, everyone would be putting in the pin. As soon as they enter their pin, It'll give them an option to come up with their nickname. It'll show up on your desktop screen and any naughty nicknames 
you notice a kid puts up something inappropriate, you can boot them immediately. Once you're ready, you click start and the game's ready to go. So who is this furry feline? And what you'll notice on the device is you have these four colored options and they relate to what's on your screen. So that option would be Garfield, there's Little Bob, Nyan Cat, or Grumpy Cat. Once you choose the correct response, it'll tell you you're correct. On the main screen, it'll show you the uh, breakdown of what everybody else chose. Click next, it'll show you a scoreboard. Who is this furry feline? It's a little bub. And then the last question, who is this fantastic creature? Ooh, the choices. Once you've got that, now it'll show you your scoreboard. And I am the top scorer, da da da. <laughs> and then you can click on feedback and results and students can rate that Kahoot. So if they thought it was awesome, they would give you five stars. Did you learn something? Would you recommend it to continue? Tell us how you feel. So it's just some feedback. So that way you know uh, what they think and you can improve on it in the future.